Hey, what's up everybody? Tim Reed here, and it's funny, I'm in my new office, and it pretty much is like the Michael Scott paper company, if you guys have ever watched The Office. But it feels good to be out of the house and to be back in a traditional workspace. So I hope you're having a great Monday. Today's word of the week is expectations. And I think that this is so powerful to be thinking about. As I work with businesses and even audit myself, I find that everything comes down to expectations. Have I been clear with what I expect from others? And have I been clear about what I expect from myself? Every single day that I come into the office, I write down the tasks that I have for the day. And a lot of the time what I'll do is I'll even write down the time blocks that I wanna to commit to these tasks. Now, I don't time block my whole day, but I do have certain times of the day where my phone is off, notifications on my computer are, are not popping up, and I can focus on what I need to do. When I set up a time block, that's me creating an expectation for myself. When I have a task list, that's me creating an expectation for myself. And I'd argue that in, in many companies, we are frustrated with team members, and team members are frustrated with us because we have not been clear with what we expect. And if we haven't been clear with a team member on what we expect, how on earth can they ever perform to it? And I think the reality is that what we expect of others is rooted in what we expect from ourselves. I've heard somebody say that if you don't hold yourself to any standard, is it any wonder that you have a hard time holding other people to a standard? And so I think that that Expectations is something that everybody needs to be thinking about. And especially in light of the crisis that we're in, what are we doing as leaders to set expectations for our team members and how do we do that? It's funny, tomorrow we're going to be re releasing a podcast episode, me and Grant, that's all about leadership. And we're going to talk about expectations. We're going to talk about how goal setting actually sets expectations, how creating a leader's dashboard sets expectations, how one-on-one -on -one coaching with your team members sets expectations. I could go on and on, but I feel like the root of so many issues comes down to not setting expectations. So for anybody listening to this, I want you to put in the comments, where do you struggle the most with setting expectations. Whether that's for yourself or for your team, where do you struggle the most with setting expectations and what are you gonna do about it this week?